so nice. 
my flesh hanging from the sharp branches. I'd say dig this hole. It was like a clay sand mix. It's hard, rocky ground.
you. 
exactly how I felt. I would usually give him a finger, the one in the middle, and they would laugh.
as she is heading towards the van. Iris, I yelled, please, God. Iris. She stopped. And I noticed right then and there, she had some kind of tracking dog in her, because I could see it. She looked at them, too. She knew. I don't know where this dog came from, but she was a good dog. And she then off running and that's when the van started up and I took off running I don't even know why we both were running at full speed her panicking flying in front of me I didn't even know this dog could run this fast I'm running trying to keep up with my adrenaline it almost seized my muscles and I could barely run I could barely breathe I was like oh my god I'm gonna die what the who are these people and I could see whatever substance it was as they pulled away they screeched their tires smoke coming out the back and this substance that was it was like liquidy brown substance all over the road what was that oh my god I just I didn't even want to think about it I didn't want to see what I saw in my head I just kept running and running tripping Where'd she go? Oh my god, she disappeared. She went towards them. Oh my god. This little bubby, she's only three months old, maybe four. And then, like lightning, she was almost thrown at me from the woods. And I went down to thank god she was okay and pet her on the head. And as I bent down, everything went black as a huge log or two by four or something or club. I don't know what it was. Hit me on the back of the head like a lumberjack would hit an axe to a tree. It was harsh and it dropped me instantly. Iris, oh god, my dog. They were gonna kill her. I knew they were gonna kill my dog. Oh my god, please don't kill my dog. That's all I could think about. I didn't even care how much pain I was in. I was throbbing. I could feel these big thick hands just dragging my lifeless body. They weren't even picking me up. I only weighed 100 pounds. What the hell? Just pick me up. But no, they had to drag me across all of the pavement as they threw me in the back of the van. Iris, I was thinking, think, dirty think, use your brain. And before I know it, before that big guy smelled so bad. Oh, I get to smell his B.O. and cigarettes like getting showered in years. He's wearing overalls and no shirt. He had a tattoo of Susie right on the back of his, I don't know, side of his neck. I don't know, something. I just remember seeing Susie, Susan something. And a big heart. And then scratched out with a knife. Stabbed in the heart. and 
doing.
what? You, you stupid moron, get in the car. Oh, this nice guy. I gotta get my daughter from gymnastics. What? This guy, this monster at kids. It's 7.30, she gets out at 8, get in the dang car. Alright, alright, Steve said. He said, do you want to get the shovel? Yeah, I get the shovel. So as I heard the shovel being thrown and the wheels squeaking out, I think they closed the back door and doubtfully leaving more red residue and liquid. I remember the smelling of the smell of the van. There's some other liquid in there, acid or something. Some acetone, that's what it was, acetone. It smelled like nails. That's why. 
me like a 
feeling this searing pain in my arms. Oh, shit, said the nurse. But then I was immediately calmed down as she realized what she had done. Her head resting on my chest looked pathetically terrible and sad. It's okay, girl. It's all right. Her tail wagged side to side. But she didn't move again. Instead, she curled up right next to my head and laid her chin right underneath my neck, carefully this time. This is smart. videos, trigger videos.